Hello everybody, it is I, Strategic Supremus, and we're back with another episode of the Heathen Horde. Last time we raised ourselves money and sadly a king died. Half ten zealots died pretty young. Forty five is a good age. Um not nothing on his dad, fifty six. But you know, these things happen. Uh and at such a moment uh the dynasty could be in for a bit of trouble if he also dies young. Uh, namely, we could have a four-year-old legitimized bastard on the throne, so we're going to try and look for a decent marriage for him, such that if that does happen, yeah, I won't try and screw us. <coughs> uh, an alliance with Holland could be pretty amazing, because it's Holland that owns this piece, Wessex, is owned by Holland. If we can get an alliance with Holland, or maybe inherit Holland, if we're sneaky, we could uh, easily make gains. I'm going to let time continue here as we're busily raiding in Wales, and generally trying to, uh, well, resolve some unfinished business. I'd like to thank you guys for all the support that the series has had over its uh, tenure, and yes, it will be ending soon, but it's been a good run. Songs will be sung of this day, apparently we did good in battle, which is terrifying. Uh, we can send in the backup. Oh, brother, the prince is usurping temples and cities and things. Oh, yeah, he got Dorset. Good on him. I was about to say, is he being an asshole to his own men or taking things? He was taking things. Good on him. Uh, let's try to lose this lawfulness. Favors are being called in the court. Interesting. Ah, uh, crap. Just an Anglo Saxon liberation revolt. Lucky us. I love Anglo Saxon liberation revolts while playing as Jorvik. It makes me so happy. Uh, just burn the witch. Thank you. Nothing against witches, it's just game once we do. Sorry. Uh, here we go. Get everything together down here. 8,000 men. Might be enough. Let's wait for the Irishman to get over here. Well, Nordo Irishman. Uh, crap. Conneriel O'Connor over here has, uh, somehow managed to, uh, Usurp, Ulster, and Desmond. That's interesting. I don't feel like waiting for those men. Let's go smash them. I would love some more military organization. Sure construction would do me good. This will improve creeps. Town infrastructure, why not? No customs, please. Popular religious, too. Lucky me. This woman's actually become a fairly decent commander. Point her shield maiden. There we go. I don't see her on the list. That's weird. All right. There we go. Smack him down. I'm going to home grind this bastard because he's been challenging me. 
and uh, he wants nothing to do with me. Lucky me. Man named Bo. Ah, good. We've slaughtered the revolt at the Battle of Oxford. Now we're going to go smash them again. As they flee to Wales, proving that they're, in fact, uh, clearly not Anglo-Saxons. And Borfach has completed his education and has turned out pretty much crap. Yay. Come on. Let me catch you. There we go. Now we're going to smash him in Somerset. And boom! Liberation Revolt defeated. Good. And let's just, uh, I don't know, execute. There we go. He was hanged. Good. Alrighty. This is why crushing revolts is important. <clears throat> the Anglo-Saxon revolt is over, and now your attention returns to where it started, in Oxford. While leaders of the revolt had been dealt with, Oxford still teams with Anglo-Saxon nationalists. If they are not dealt with, another revolt is all but guaranteed to eventually follow the last one. I can either teach them a lesson they won't forget, where we will most certainly get wroth and probably be a tyrant. Yeah, we'll, we'll be a tyrant and probably get wroth. Um, and get a 75% chance of uh, recent uprising. Or they will act Norse, so there's even the chance we'll get cruel as well as wroth. Uh, but they might become Norse, which will be very helpful. So I'm going to try that one, even though it's a risky maneuver. Please tell me. Nope, they're still Anglo-Saxon. Now please tell me we can do anything too stupid over here. Lucky us. It's a null scratch. Awesome. Poth carries. Cool. Ah, oh, boy. I'm a known adulterer. Great. Can I challenge him to a duel now? Here we go. Oh, I forgot. I'm actually not that good at dueling. Oh, well. What mistake is all he'll get? Defend myself. He won't get another chance. What mistake is all he'll get? I've been wounded. Hopefully I've at least wounded him. We've both been wounded. Oh boy. I aim for his wound. Oh crap. Don't get another chance. Oh no. Come on, let's get him. Oh really? And Goofy dies. That was dumb. That was very dumb. Um, the good news is, Al is five. The bad news is, and apparently my uncle also managed to die at, uh, around the, two years ago. And my cousin here is my heir, who is seven. Lucky us. So I'm going to deal with the Regency uh, off screen for a little bit here. Uh, there will be a bit of a cutting the video, and I'll uh, speech you guys through it, because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see me deal with 11 years of Regency. Yeah. Uh, who, who would want that? Who? Come on. Be honest. So, I will make the cut right about here, and then you will go on to me not uh, having to deal with this nasty, nasty Regency, and hopefully getting back to the point. Quick update from the Regency period, guys. Um, one of our gentlemen in the court has managed to uh, usurp uh, the title of the thing, oh, sorry, Jarl. Not thing, he's a Jarl. In the Jarl of Norfolk from King Hrain of Swedia. So somebody's even having a worse regency than we are. Uh, just a quick update. Wanted to you guys to suddenly wonder where Norfolk come, came from and why is there suddenly this new Jarl of that bit. 
an interesting border war out here. Anyway, you know, just wanted to keep you guys informed. Hi guys, I'm back. That was quite a long Regency. You're telling me. And... Ale has become a skilled tactician. Not bad. He's kinda meh. He's not the best ever. He's only kinda good at one thing and he's not that great at it and everything else he's pretty terrible at. But, not to worry, not to fear. We'll work at it. We're also a tyrant because I had to crush three or four different rebellions. Uh, during that Regency period, uh, it was not nearly as interesting as it sounds. Trust me. There was these couple thousand men rebellions. Uh, then I had to squish one of my uncles coming. It was bad. Anyway. Uh, marrying the daughter of the Dutch guy. who has managed to take over his pieces in northern France. Of course, has the Netherlands. Well, it will be the Netherlands. And is the Lord of most of Wessex. Anyhow, other big news. Oh yeah, uh, Norway is a thing now. Very interesting. And they've managed to take the Irish possessions and Clydesdale and Carrick and pieces of Galway uh, off of the Sudir. Sudir has changed hands a couple of times. More than a couple, I think. Um, not so exciting there, and the bastard son that went off to go find his riches died of the pox. I know, so exciting. Um, not gonna bother to call for wealth for only 330 something gold, doesn't really matter that much to me. <clears throat> right now, I can create whichever kingdom I wish, however, I will not have as much money as I would like to to actually. Uh, become Emperor. I can not get a ransom from this guy yet. Great. Oh, and also that joke about us secretly taking over most of Prussia is kind of happening. Low-key. We have Lower Silesia, Lushnitz, Lupus, kind of need Brandenburg to really be Prussia, but it's, it's a piece out here. I don't know how I feel about it. All on their own, the AI just determined that this guy needs a massive chunk of the Baltic. And he had the means to take it, so he did kind of interesting. Um, he was also involved in one of the rebellions against me, that's why he likes me this much. And people generally like Ally here, probably because he's brawny and brave and a decent fighter. And soon we'll be crowned. And as I did mention, Norfolk is part of us now. Seems to me we actually have a few people actually doing this sort of thing. I'm going to keep his name as Ale. And we've been crowned the proud king. I'm not proud. No. And he behaves badly at the feast. Alrighty. Open plains suit my needs best. Oh, how perfect. Uh, most of the terrain in Britain, as you'd imagine, is open plains. With a couple of forests, but a lot of open plants. The problem is our uh, underlings have eaten only this much of southern England out from underneath of the Dutch, which means they have quite a bit down here in Kent. I don't like that very much. They have a lot of what was Wessex. off. There we go. Somebody else behaving bad later feast. Tis the season. Oh boy. Let's let's let's.
Pokemon. Oh no. We're a legitimized bastard. I don't want to start having legitimized bastards and legitimized bastards. That just ends badly. We were up to about 800 uh, money, but I had to spend a good bit of it after I had to crush two or three billions in a row. Which is disturbing on a deep level. I'm gonna make him pay me. I uh, can't do that. If my army's raised. What am I doing? There we go. I'm gonna demand he pay me protection money. I uh, can't do that. He's at war. How about you? Christians. I'll well, just do that. I will. Oh, she took the highlands. That's gonna be a problem. You're an Irish revolt. Well, great. Scotland and Ireland is a mess, even though we are slowly eating up pieces of Ireland. In Ulster now. We're... I believe we've already made Derby. Derby. Sorry. Pay, uh... Tribute to me. Give me a moment, I will... Check. It's down here somehow, isn't it? I think it was the last guy. Hmm. Weird. Oh, what the hell is that? Gordius is attacking me with a horn with a host of sixteen thousand men. Ooh boy. Um I have enough to deal with that. Uh, I forgot all about this during the Regency. Uh, what happened is the Flambergs, who were the guys who ended up holding Wessex, uh, went off to go raise money and men to take it back. Uh, probably the Carolingians gave it to them. And uh, they're here. Wanting land titles and all that jazz. Curvia. Curvia? Where the hell? Oh. Okay, yeah, he's at war with me, but what does he want? I uh, don't trust the game enough to just uh, white piece this, because that could be a province, that could be a lot. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Yes, I believe I'm going to leave it here. And next time we will deal with the great uh, Anglo-Saxon invasion attempt. Actually, wait a minute. That's the sigil thingy right here. Oh, you want that piece out over there? How do you even have a claim to that? What? What? How do you... That's a piece of Poland. What? I... I don't understand this. Anyway, here's too many claims to have that many, that many men and be allowed to live. It's... It, it just does. This is terrible. Duh. Yes, next time we shall deal with this problem. I'll see you then.